always exciting to be, I mean, offered a, a lead role. I mean, I think it's always flattering. You know, it's one of those things, um, I don't know, I think you always like hope for it, but it's like, it's really exciting and it's flattering when it happens. But um, just, but I mean, it wasn't even that Deb was the lead role. I just thought her character was really neat. And I liked how the, um, it was a female lead that kind of controlled the movie and um, with a female director. I mean, it all was just something that I never experienced before. Like definitely, you know, definitely not just the girlfriend role. And it was nice having a female director. I'd never had that before. So um, I thought that it would be a nice new experience that I'd never tried before. I guess. Yeah, um, Deb has like a, I don't know, regular relationship with her two best friends. Um, Trixie and Karen, I think they have, they're, you know, they're like in college and they just have their normal friendship. But I, what was special was I think Deb and um, Mark's relationship, the brother and sister. Because I mean, I have an older brother and it's definitely a lot different than that. I think that they had a very close bond and that's why this movie is so, um, I don't know, I guess it can be traumatic at times because you see how close two people are and then how they get torn apart, so. Karen was kind of like, you know, the kind of the wild, rambunctious, you know, overtly, you know, comfortable with her sexuality and just kind of, you know, goofball, which, you know, I can, you know, attest to. Uh, it wasn't that big of a stretch for me, but yeah, she's a, she's just Karen, you know, crazy Karen. Uh, Trixie is, a, I feel like, a lot like me. Sometimes she's a little, I would say she's a little bit more flitty. Than, than I typically would hope that I am. <laughs> but uh, she likes animals and the sunshine and the grass and she's just all around happy. Oh gosh, she would flip if she got to go get some coffee or some ice cream or anything like that. And honestly, I can really relate with that. I really appreciate the little things in my life and um, it was able. I was able to bring that part of me more within this character and I also related with her in that she had two best friends. I have two best friends and they totally reminded me of the characters um, that I was playing off of that Stephanie and Karis played. It was just really awesome. It was it was a tight-knit group. Um, I feel like my character um, also with the with the panic people talk about the freak accidents that happened to me. I just different accents, they, people call me clumsy, and if any character would have a seizure in the film, it would be Trixie, <laughs> and pass out. So yeah, I could identify. <laughs> I'd say he's like me in a lot of ways, actually. I could, I could identify with him quite a bit. I really think he's a, I really think Mark is a, a free spirit, you know, kind of just going with the flow of life and everything. I really think he's a good person and he, he really cares about his family and I think there's some issues with his father leaving and everything too. I mean, that's stuff that I had to fill in the gaps, but I could, I could really see a lot there that I could identify with. And, uh, and it, it, it's unfortunate too, because what, whatever this thing is, whatever you want to call it, that uh, overcomes him, you know, this, this, this power, this you know, evilness, it, it's funny because there's a really good person in there. And in a lot of scenes, you don't really get to see that. You, it, it, it pokes out a little bit here and there. You can see it in, you know, cracks, you know, it just from time to time. But you never really, I think, get to know the true him, you know? But you can see it. You can see it in there. It's a very, very conflicted character, you know? Uh, he's, he's a pretty good guy. Um, seems to be concerned about others, concerned about uh, Deb. Dorothy, Dorothy described him to me as her perfect guy, so that was, I kind of wish she hadn't told me that before we started filming. <laughs> I was like, oh great, now I get to play her perfect guy. Um, 